Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be going through my LEGO Star Wars custom clone troopers. Um, that's kind of like the only customs I really make. But yeah, I'm going to be going through ones that I made about a year ago that are not too good. We're basically going to be doing it from worst to best in the customs. Um, this is not going to be including purist customs. I do have a lot of purists. This is more just uh, painted customs or in some cases, Sharpie. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna get right into it. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And yeah, tell me which one is your favorite and which one is your least favorite custom in the comments below. So starting it off with the worst custom of the group, I'm stuck between two of them, but I think I gotta go with this one. So first of all, this one is not really too custom. Um, really the only custom part is the helmet um as you can see i had a command degree torso with some bomb trooper arms and legs um, but if we take a look at this helmet this was a perfectly fine stormtrooper helmet that i uh painted over basically let's just take it oh that head oh my gosh okay well let's just take a look at the helmet real quick so like i said it was a stormtrooper helmet and this is back <clears throat> A year ago whenever I made this um, and I had no clone troopers uh, and you guys are probably wondering well you know you see my clone army video you're like how did I have none I just didn't have any clone troopers that army was all um, made in one year so very thankful for that but this is what I had to do, work with um, before I had clone troopers and I wanted to try to make this stormtrooper helmet look like a clone trooper helmet so that's what I tried to do. It did not really work out too well just because, you know, it, the, the shape is, is different. And I tried giving it its own design kind of to match the green and orange look. Um, and this is what it turned out look like. But yeah, like I was saying, the helmets are just two different shapes. It, it's, it was really hard to capture that look. But yeah, I mean, it's all right. And then that's a custom weapon or whatever. But yeah, so... Sadly, this guy has to be ranked as the worst custom I've ever made. Next up, and this is the one that I was thinking about tying up with the last one. It is this guy. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Oops, sorry. Um, these figures don't look bad, okay? They don't look horrible. It's just what I was trying to go for, it does not look like what I was trying to go for. He was supposed to be an airborne trooper. And... Um, the, the helmet, the helmet just looks off. Um, if you compare it to a real airborne trooper helmet, it just, this one just looks like a first order trooper that had a bad day. Like, it does not look, um, very similar. I do think that the design is pretty cool though. I like the blue accents that we have all around. I give him a little pose. I'll just move him over. Um... But yeah, I think, I, I definitely don't think it looks horrible, but then again, that paint looks like it will come off with the scratch of a finger. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not the greatest. Um, let's see what head we got working with. Okay, it's just an angry clone. But yeah, and he's sticky on the back for some reason. So, overall, not the best, um, but yeah. All right, and the next figure up is also based off of an Airbor airborne trooper, but I do think it looks a little bit better than the last one. It is this guy. I believe that this is a first order flame trooper helmet. Um, not entirely sure. I got it from my brother though, so I, I did not. I did not take uh, um, the helmet from my own collection. Um, same with this one. And technically, I could just wash the paint off of these because the paint use is very. Uh, it's it's not strong at all. I really did not know what I was doing, but, um, I'm gonna leave them just because, you know, they, they bring out the history, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I made them a year ago, uh, and I think it looks a little bit more accurate than the First Order one did. Here, we'll have them all lined up on my, my customs. Yeah, so these two definitely look a lot more similar than this one does, but still, it's not the best. But I do think that he looks cool as, like, kind of his own trooper, just like a custom trooper I made. Um, and yeah, uh, designs are pretty much the exact same with him, just, uh, in orange compared to the blue guy. And yeah, not horrible, but for what I was going for, it really doesn't look too much like it. 
but it's a cool figure. We'll look, we'll look at the head real quick. Um, I don't know why I use that head, but yeah, so that's that figure. So this next figure I actually do like, but it's kind of, um, kind of falls under the same instance as, um, the first figure I showed you guys, and it is this, um, Star Corps Shadow Trooper. So the Shadow Troopers, um, if you play Battlefront, you probably know who they are. Um, this was at a time where, again, I had no clones and I was just trying to find a trooper that I could try to replicate using a Stormtrooper helmet. And it doesn't look horrible, like it could be worse, but it's not the best. Um, it, 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 yeah, I don't know. We're, we're gonna take a look at the, okay, blackhead that time, not a yellow smiley face. Um, so the red paint was really hard to paint over the black visor, which as you can see, it was not replicated too well. Um, and it kind of just looks messy. Uh, you can see some paint coming on the gray ventilation system right there. Um, but I do think it looks kind of clean in the back. I like how that black kind of looks, it, it's like a matte black look. There's the inside of the helmet. Um, but yeah, red on black does not really mix well and that is kind of shown off in this helmet. We're taking a look at the body. Um, take off this gun real quick. I kind of just went for like, I, I don't know. I was just trying to replicate it as best I could, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how accurate it looks cause I've not really seen what they look like for a while. And I gave him some feet printing and stuff. And then this is his back, uh, backpack thing. But yeah, so definitely not horrible. But again, he was supposed to be using a helmet that is like this, but instead I used a Stormtrooper helmet cause I had no clones. Um, but I think that this just looks a little bit more accurate than this guy did. So, yeah, that is the Shadow Trooper. Alright, so now we're going to be getting into a little bit more, uh, better customs. These, we got four more to go. Um, and so we're going to start it off with this, um, Galactic Marine. So I do think that this looks pretty good. Um, if we look at it, I did use the original style helmet which i have a little bit of re regret just because this is my only original one um i can wash off the paint though if i really want to um but yeah so just kind of painted the uh the helmet part with this uh red but the issue with this one is if you look at it it's kind of the paint is not too evenly distributed like i could have definitely gone over it a few times um and then we look at this i did make the custom little uh, shoulder pads and then we got the little designs which i think is fairly decent and then gave them like the skirt the skirt should be red but i had a uh, gray one so i gave them the gray one uh and the white legs so definitely not bad obviously he has the uh rifle that, that they use but yeah so this will be a good segue into the next one which is my other marine trooper which i think this one looks a lot better than the other one uh, mainly because this helmet looks more accurate the new style helmet definitely looks more accurate and i do not feel as bad as using this one just because i have uh multiple like of, the, of this kind of helmet so that was okay pretty much the uh shoulder pad and the body are the same uh different colored legs that are more accurate because they have the gray and then I made him a custom paper skirt, which is a lot more accurate. Don't mind this back thing. That's just from the torso I used. Um, but yeah, I think that this one just looks a bit more accurate than this one does. Um, Marine Trooper wise, or uh, Galactic Trooper, Galactic Marine Trooper uh, wise. But yeah, so those are my Galactic Marines. Now for the final two, this is a really hard decision to choose which one to put in second place because I really love them equally. Um... But I think I just need to put this one in second, and we'll, you'll see why once we get to the other one. But second place, we have Captain Hauser, a beloved clone by many, and one of my best customs. Um, so, obviously, the difference with this guy compared to my other clone customs is he's actually using a clone helmet. And um, that is all thanks to the 2020 501st Battle Pack, which was created, which was a lifesaver for people that needed to... Uh, or wanted to build a clone army so 
yeah, he really came, that, that really came in clutch to help make this, but yeah, so I've got the custom pauldron. I love the color. I think I was able to mix and get the correct color that I needed. Uh, let's take a look at the helmet. Really, really nice. I really like how this looks. And yeah, I just, I, I love how it looks in my clone army. Um, and yeah, part of the reason why you never see my other customs in my army is because uh, they don't go there. <laughs> I, I typically, I, I like to put things that I, that I really like in the clone army, and it's not that I don't really like these guys or whatever, but, uh, it just doesn't really look like a clone, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, yeah, so that is Captain Hauser, on to the final one. And my final custom I have to show you guys today is Captain Rex. Now, the only reason why I did not put Captain Rex in second place and I put him in first, it's just because he was my first uh custom that i made out of an actual clone helmet and i think he turned out really nice and um also just because i had to find a way to get this uh antenna or you know whatever it's called his rangefinder on his head which kind of just gives him a bit more points for the uh details in which i added to him so yeah this is uh captain rex a clone beloved by many as well just like hauser and yeah so i made him about a month ago and as you can see, pretty good details. So he's used with a Power Force uh, Clone Trooper helmet as well. Got the little tallies up there. Um, I was able to add a rangefinder to him, which makes him look 10 times better. Got his personalized uh, pauldron. Gave him a comma. Uh, and then 501st legs. I just think that this guy looks really neat. I really love him. And of course, he leads my uh, 501st army. And as you guys know, uh, it is really hard to get a official rex so it's nice that i was able to make my own custom rex and that will wrap it up for my cl custom clones ranked if you guys did go on to enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe only if you enjoy the content um and yeah so again none of these customs i was like trashing on i like and i'm thankful for all of these customs it's just cool to go down memory lane and see how my custom skills have evolved over the past year so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.